Hey everyone, this blog post is for all of the like high school uh, cross country athletes or parents and or guardians of high school cross country athletes. I just wanted to take a note of the time of year. We're in the middle of June and that means we're about eight weeks from the middle of August when cross country training might pick up. Um, and for all of you who suffer from shin splints, um, one of the best ways to mitigate the risk of shin splints next season is to take eight weeks or more to slowly and gradually build up your running capacity. So now's the time to start. Um, again, gradually working up to some of the volumes that you'll be doing with cross country. Now's a great time to also work on um, your single leg stability um, to, again, further mitigate the risk of shin splints. So a few ideas, um, working on soleus strength, so ideally off a stair, doing some single leg heel raises, hang on so it's not a balance activity like mine is right now, um, doing some single leg RDL, so standing on one leg, reaching out to not kicking the table, and coming back up. Um, a three-way squat, so standing on one leg, reaching forward, side, back. If you want to get crazy, you can add a curtsy in there. Um, and then some Bulgarian split squats. So back foot up on a chair or bench, squatting down, coming back up. So really working single leg stability and starting now to slowly build up um, running volume. So now's the time to give yourself a great um, cross country season and set yourself up for success. Thanks, bye.